والذين يقولون ربنا اصرف عنا عذاب جهنم it's so beautiful this this category there's a group of people allah loves because the only thing some they just ask allah ya allah just i don't want to see jahannam i don't want to take me away from jahannam i don't want to i don't want to be turned away from it inna adhabaha kana gharaman innaha sa'at mustaqarran wa muqaman its penalty is very heavy it's a huge penalty i can't bear it i can't even think about jahannam it is a terrible place to be for a little while or for a long time i have to explain this part to all of you it is a terrible place to be mustaqarran for a little while wa muqaman long term now there are some people like i was I, I, i'm sure you've seen this on youtube if you follow my videos there was a young girl in florida at a youth program she asked me a question She wrote it down. She said I do a lot of haram things. But I'm not going to hell forever, right? Because I'm Muslim. So even if I do go to hell, it will not be forever. This dua says I don't want to go to jahannam not for a long time, not for a short time. I don't want to see it. Allah loves the people who understand that they don't want any part of jahannam short or long. There are some Muslims who we'll say of course i don't want to go to jahannam forever but i don't know one weekend I, I, maybe we can do that much haram you know this is from the jews ayama ma'dudat they said a few days we can handle it i mean come on you know after that is the jannah man it's okay so then you party here you pay one weekend price and then you go back to jannah what's the big deal allah says those are not ibad ar-rahman ibad ar-rahman are the people the special people to allah are the people who say ya allah I don't want to see Jahannam not for a day, not for two days, not for a minute, not for a second, and not permanently. I don't want anything to do with Jahannam. There is an ayah in Surah Al-Anbiya. There's one ayah in Surah Al-Anbiya that describes the least punishment in Jahannam. Jahannam is described in so many places in the Quran, but the least, 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 I mean the easy punishment of Jahannam is described in Surah Al-Anbiya. How easy is it? The person described has not tasted the fire. They have only tasted a breeze. You know when you have a fire it has a hot wind. The hot wind is called lafha with a lam. But the ayah doesn't use lafha. It says wala in masathum nafha with a noon. With a noon it actually means a cool breeze, not a hot breeze. And nafha is used when you know when you close the door and some hot air comes in as you're closing the door. that the air that comes in or goes out that's called nafha allah says those people will taste a nafha air not even inside jahannam where outside they haven't even gone in yet and they didn't taste fire they didn't taste lava they didn't eat anything they they're just exposed to air and it touched them barely massatum it barely touched them you know sometimes you're boiling or frying things and something comes out and it touches you just a little bit but that's not air that's liquid allah doesn't say air liquid will touch you what does he say air will touch you and it will barely touch you for a split second split second it will touch you that's it and it won't even be the full fledge air it will be not nafhatu adhab rabbik it will be nafhatun min adhab rabbik min litaqlil it's to make it very little bit of air it's just tiny little bit so it's not even the whole door was opened and the wind came in It was like a tiny little, you know how you have window inside the window? A little bit of it opened and a little bit of an air came out and you felt it on your skin just for a split second. And then this is the only torture this person received. There is nothing else yet. And they're not even in hell yet. They're still outside. That's evident from the word nafha. He says, "Ya wailana." The person swears, "I have never felt more torture ever in my life. This is the wor- I must be in the worst part of hell." Wail The Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam describes wail as the worst part of hellfire, so scary that hell itself is afraid of it. Jahannam is afraid of wail. And this guy says, "I must be in wail." Ya wailana. He's not even inside yet. The Muslim understands, the believer, the student of Quran understands, "Inna ha sa'at mustaqarran wa muqaman." I cannot be there for a little while and a long time. I know. I should not have the mentality of Bani Israil who said, "Ah, lan tamassana an-nar illa ayyama ma'dudat." Just a few days, we can handle it. You know, I've had long hard hot road trips outside with no air conditioning. I'm tough. No. 
إِنَّهَا سَاءَتْ مُسْتَقَرًا وَمُقَامًا This is a category by itself. These people are special to Allah. The only thing they ask Allah is, Ya Allah, I don't want Jahannam. I don't want Jahannam. Never, at all. That dua itself qualifies you to be special to Allah. SubhanAllah. What a mercy from Allah. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَقُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله قل يا عبادي الذين قل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله Thank you.